Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. And boy, boy, this campaign is a lot of fun. We're trying to survive in Legendary Iron Man with double enemy squad side, uh, size dark events left and right. New ones, mind you. Uh, yellow alert and quite a few enemy improving mods. It's just brutal. Uh, I was not sure after the first 10 missions whether or not the difficulty would be spiking but boy oh boy it is spiking and it's certainly not helping that we still cannot upgrade our armor to this very day just out of curiosity i know it's potentially not yet there but how many inventory trooper corpses nine okay we still need three because apparently bio-trooper corpses are not trooper corpses. We got bandits, we got dark elders, and we hopefully got a couple of troopers in there. And this is the only team that we could uh, foster. We got two snipers, Enders and Hayward, um, get, uh, having our ammunition. We got inappropriate Murphy in the house. Not a lot of healing, so we gotta be careful i added another uh, health pack on inquisitor our i think second skirmisher in this run and we got bubble and zirkim for some grenado action well, let's jump right into it and hope that we will stay sort of out of the line of fire and try to let them fight one another I will need to abide my own rules to intervene relatively soon, but like just letting them engage one another would uh, would be a good idea. It's kind of a royal rumble at the end of the day. All right, time for a landing, a proper landing. Let's go and get that mission going. I wonder. With the bandit uh, and dark elders here, I would like to engage them. Let's see what kind of enemies we're up against. This here is effectively not starting until we reach, uh, until we break concealment. Inquisitor will be our scout. And I'm trying to see what sort of aiming angles I'd like. A little bit over here, a little bit there. Inappropriate Murphy could go to here. Good copy, moving on target. Solid copy. Good, that pretty much sounds like a solid formation to me. Now the trick will be we need to reach the first crate before this here is going to go south. If we secure one crate, we're doing fine. Maybe this campaign could be one of those where we are trying a couple of um, classical formations. Meaning things that work in normal legendary Iron Man might even work here. So one of them, for instance, is the classical skirmisher, hunker down, uh, dual, so uh, two... Uh, specialist uh, chain 8 protocol uh, return fire spec which essentially uses him as a tank the the one problem that I am having with it is there is always a small chance to at least hit him and we would need a lot of equipment to set that up maybe it could work Maybe it doesn't, but yeah, that could be that could be a strategy later in the non-timed missions. Essentially, let that um, okay. let that skirmisher go forward and tank. 
No, don't pull the chrysalids. Oh my gosh. We gotta be really careful. This here could go down in the wrong direction. Nice, very nice. Well, we do have apparently resistance operatives here. So maybe if we're playing our cards right, we can even save some of them. Yes, Commander. Inquisitor moves up and moves closer to the chest. I like it. Good, we're semi-aggressively pushing forward here. Out. We have some more high ground over here, which is a bit closer. Already there. So what I'm thinking is... Let's reposition Hayward. And... And or we could position over here. That's great aiming angles. Okay, let's hope we're not getting caught out in the transition here. Currently we're still okay. I, I want to set up nicely so that we have a, a very solid position to push forward. The problem that I'm seeing is if there are multiple chrysalids, this mission here is very soon. Uh oh, uh oh. This mission here is very soon going to go south. All right, these seem to be our resistance operatives. More chrysalids. Hmm. We got to deal with those hive drones and need to kill them ASAP. Good, very good cover here. Yeah, kill those little chrysalid rippers. That's maybe not too bad because that means less chrysalids who can spawn. Okay, this here seems to be a massive battle zone. They are fighting all over it. Nice crit into full cover. Good job. The banded heavy gunner uh, uh, gunners are actually quite scary. If I'd be in his shoes, I would have exploded that thing. But okay. Good time for us to reveal ourselves. One down, thousands to go as they say. Can't grapple up there, but I could theoretically grapple up here. Inquisitor needs to secure the chest. And let's... Start killing those little chrysalid buggers right away. No problem, boss. 
Ugh. Don't like what I'm seeing. Don't like it at all. Visitor moves up. And let's mark the supplies. Okay, cool. So that worked. I want to get into that good position. Okay, we could theoretically give Zirkim another turn, which is good, great. Moving into full cover. Yeah, let's continue with that. It's worthwhile getting rid of one of those towers right away. Good. Still no blue screen rounds, which would be super helpful here. Oh, don't go for... No, don't go for the civilians. That is just unfair tactics. Oh, well, you can go for the Dark Elders. That would be a really fair tactic. Oh, boy, that is a mistake. That was a big, big mistake. <laughs> oh wow okay well that that was actually a really nice hit i'll kill this guy next turn perch cyborg i gotta remember that this guy has blade storm that's nasty Jan Johnson is burning. Oh boy. It seems as if the elders have actually two little numbers in order to deal with those guys. Nice, and XCOM is even fighting against uh, the bandits. But I would suggest you guys are focusing on the chrysalids, indeed. You know what? If you explode that middle thing, you will deal a lot of damage. <laughs> the tides have just turned. I think that was the MVP play. I can't even do better than that. Seriously, I can't do better than that. That's potentially 50, 60 damage right there. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. Come 
to move up to here. Could just stay back for now. And start start waiting on that tower. Now we need to see the Scorch because I need to destroy them. First things first though, the tower needs to die. Good, tower down. The gunner could be a hundred percent kill. Seven to nine. Let's try to kill the scorch. Oh, he dodged it. Well, that is unfortunate. Shouldn't be greedy. Alright, Inquisitor needs a bit of extra help. Fifty fifty to kill him. Uh, he will shoot back, that's the problem with that. Oh no, he does not. Okay, well then there is no problem with them. He's burning, so he will die. 50-50 of killing the A gunner. Nope. We're overwatching and we're potentially taking some punishment. One of the scorch will uh, scorches will die. The heavy gunner has plenty of targets that aren't full cover, so should not be a big problem. Well, thanks, Centro. It's not that we're not trying, you know, Bradford. It's just we're having a few technical difficulties, shall we say? That's good. I didn't want more chrysalids. 
Oh, and they are missing. How ironic. All right, that's our new priority. Not good. Not good. Chrysalid poison will spawn new enemies. Our resistance fighter will likely die and respawn as a chrysalid. Another scorch. Uh. Of course, now he's flanking us. Yeah, hit him. No. I was hoping he would just fly away. Well, there is a chrysalid co uh, cocoon. I think these are Dark Elders. Not sure how he can still survive whilst be uh, whilst burning. Got to deal with those reinforcements, but we also got to deal with all of the chrysalids. Two percent is not good enough. Whatever you say. Forty hit points, cocoon can't really hit that. I mean, we can hit it, but we can't destroy it, really. It's not worth it. Rather, try to get the chrysalid. Good, he's down to 1 HP burning, so that is fine, which means we can focus on overwatching. Unfortunately, he dodged right when we did not want him to dodge. Zirkim is going to be made more difficult to hit. Inappropriate Murphy overwatches.
move over to here. Take a shot, let the Scourge move somewhere else. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> okay, very good. That is just one hit away from dying, and we have plenty of overwatches. So if he moves in, there's a good chance uh, that the chrysalid will die. Damn it. Well, at least both of them both of them will take damage when that thing explodes. More chrysalids are coming. Unfortunately, my plan with chrysalid hunter just didn't work. Some more dark elders. Can we somehow ignore the dark elders and let them fight against the chrysalids, please? <laughs> Dark Elder Dracoon. Looks like uh, the type of guy that you don't want to fuck around with. Okay, cool. Well, look, the name of the game is Don't Fight Against the Dark Elders Too Much and Withdraw Just So That They Can Fight Against the Chrysalids Whilst You Are Taking Advantage of That and Both of You Are Fighting the Chrysalids as, as uh, One. That's the idea. Okay, we are currently flanked, so we can't let that happen. But I do have an idea of how to unflank us, which is hitting this guy. And then getting concealment with 100% Shadowfall shot. Good. Done. Concealed. No more flanking. Ignore the cocoon and try to go for that elder type of guy. There. 
50-50. That's good enough. Come on. All right. Fantastic. Well, when one unit already uh, takes the entirety of your forces to destroy, then things are not looking bright. I might need to extract our units after this one because we're now running the real risk of getting beaten up. I must find firmer ground. Okay, we have moved out of uh, the vision range of the remaining Dark Elders, which is good, so they can fight against the Chrysalids. Good, I think no more bandits are left over. It's really just with Dark Elders at this point. Alright, they hate zombies, apparently. And cocoons. I don't know why they are not killing the hunter, but... Okay. We are certainly going to do it next turn. Blocking that entrance here with inappropriate Murphy. Reload. Kill. Reload. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Um. You know what? Might as well top us up. And off we go. Good, we killed a couple of chrysalids, but they are now taking over the map. I don't see how this is gonna find a reasonable end. We're potentially going to get overrun. That's three chrysalids just spawning this round alone. Problem is the chrysalid poison will continue to tick and I don't know if the Dark Elders are immune to it. But unless they continu continue to avoid all of the attacks... Can't just let her die from that poison. Alright, Zirke moves up. It is not strategic to remain here. Gotta do better. 
Wow, she's down to 1 HP. Zero Kim takes an 8 protocol. Can't believe it, the cocoon still spawned. That is unfortunate. All right, this here should at least get us in range to see the other chrysalid. Little bit of damage in Overwatch. Uh, we're not getting any more crates. I think we should evac soon. I was hoping we could kind of claw our way a little bit further into the map, but this is just way too many hit points to chew through. Yeah, now that guy will die. It's effectively too many chrysalids. Certainly doesn't help that we have kind of those perch guys. If it wasn't for the chrysalids, I think there could be a chance of um, of actually winning this but the chrysalids make it so much more difficult it, it is effectively spawning new enemies every single turn and they have ultra long range Okay, time to evic. Those hunters alone would... Yeah, those hunters alone would be a problem for us. But spawning more and more will just make it worse. So how about we're putting this up? Zirkim begins to move. Takes that nice little final shot. Sometimes you know when to cut losses and just farm that little bit of extra XP and get out of here. Like we got, we got a few sam uh, a little bit of supplies from this. Certainly nothing to write home about, sure but okay enough. Enemy is still up. I'm out of here. At least no one died. And maybe we even get a promotion, who knows. Alright, 
All right. The moment that we ran out of healing opportunities, the the situation was doomed. Yeah, look at that. Almost 20 more and most of them were chrysalids. It still counted as a success. And in my book, it was one. We killed like 40 enemies. Well, not all of us were our kills, but overall, there were a lot of kills. And I learned that the Dark Elders definitely are not so strong that they would uh, be able to just overcome immense odds and kill the chrysalids. I guess they would have needed in in the middle of the fight when they were exploding the very middle and then if they would have continued to just kill all of the chrysalids and chrysalids only there would have been a chance that they uh, could have won that engagement but the chrysalids with their rapid reproduction rate that was just too much at some point you saw the five or six that were running in our direction these were just the spawns of uh, the last round not even the real chrysalids all right good job zirkim heavy ordinance i suppose <laughs> and I was hoping for the big home run for Elarium Crystals. Okay, well, a promotion at four Elarium Crystals is better than nothing. Yeah, the blast padding would be helpful for him as well. Let's just give that even if it costs one AP from our team. That ensures that there is a little bit more survivability. Okay, well, I guess we did not find any trooper corpses. Nope. Negative. Nine more days until Illyrium is researched. And that uh, will determine our next course of action. We got alien alloys. Which might really be helpful because we don't have them yet. But we could purchase them theoretically I think we're making contact we need more income and I want the continent bonus minus 25 oh boy we're at 19 income Okay, the collectors. The Chosen always uh, attempts to capture. We don't need to do that. And Thunder Mountain, I believe we very much want to do that, but that is very difficult. And it is likely that we're going to fail that one. However, if we're not trying, then we would have failed automatically. So a couple of tired soldiers might be pulled into that how long does that covert ops mission still last should almost be done the moment that that is done the moment that that is done we can move into the mission. Should have installed the mod that allows you to see the detailed time that's left.
All right. That has not done it yet. Shortly moving to the black market. market is open to you. Hmm, 44 alloys for 50 intel is not too bad. I mean, we need the alloys for many of our upgrades. On the other hand, superior speed still is a great uh, alternative. Hmm. I think I'll still buy that one. It's too good to not use it. Okay, let's hope that that wasted enough time. Okay, we're running we're running a little bit short on time here, so I'll prepare the mission for the next time. I would have loved to take everybody from that covert ops uh, mission with me, but it potentially will not work. And we will need to destroy that advent um, that advent general. In terms of next options, um, that here looks fantastic. Intel, Intel, supplies and supplies. But that's a... That's a new one, by the way. Mission is susceptible to ambush by the Chosen. We should make sure our soldiers are properly equipped. Not sure what kind of mission that is it says here covert covert up so that seems to be a, a non-standard mission reduce avatar project is potentially what we should do first that always has priority uh maybe not always breakthrough research for assault rifles is better and recruiting a Reaper is also quite good, but uh, the order, how I would personally rank it, is improve assault rifles uh, into uh, Avatar Project, and we can always recruit the Reaper next uh, month. I don't know what that is, but the re uh, reward is fantastic. Raider Ambush. Uh, ambush. Mm -hmm. Okay. That might be Riders of Blood. Well, that might be the mission that uh, gives us uh, access to the HQ of the Raiders. Who knows? Okay, very good. Um, we are with the backs against the wall, as always. Uh, month number five. If you are of the opinion that the next one is going to be a success, then leave a like and a comment uh, down below. And see you in two days, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.